So we need to continue in login form to actually log the user in. So how are we going to do this? First of all, we need a query. And this is going to be equal to select. And we need to select the username, username, um, and password from. And that, let's go reference back to our table to see from users. So we're selecting from users where and then we're going to say uh, username is equal to uh, username and password is equal to password so we've constructed here a query where we're selecting the username and password in fact we don't even need to do that let's just select the ID so we're selecting the ID from our users table where the username is equal to Alex in this case and the password is equal to password in this case. Now we've got one problem already. Password is plain text and the password stored in the database is MD5 data. So what we need to do here is we need to say MD5 wrapping around the password which will then automatically convert this to an MD5 value um, in fact no that's not going to work I'll tell you why if the user entered nothing we're still generating an MD5 hash so we can get away with not entering a password so instead of doing that let's create a new variable which is probably better called password hash and that's going to equal to MD5 of password so we've created a new variable now we can pop this into our query like that. So let's uh, first of all um, execute this query. So query run equals MySQL oh, query query. And uh, let's pop this into an if statement just to check that it works. So if that, then run this block. Otherwise, something. Now we've actually now predetermined so if this query um, is fine and it works then we can uh, in fact no we don't need this else here if this query works then we can do something with it and what we need to do with it is we need to check how many rows have been returned now if zero rows have been returned um, we have um, if zero rows have been returned, a username and a password don't match. So a username and a password combination haven't matched, which means they may have entered the correct username, they may have not entered the correct password, or vice versa, they may have entered the correct password but not the right username. So we need to create a check in here. First of all, we'll say a query um, num, and that's or num rows would be better and that's equal to mysql num rows um, of our query that we've run and now we need to perform a check to say if query num rows is equal to zero no such user exists otherwise do something else so here we're going to say um, echo um, invalid invalid username password combination okay so we've executed our query as long as the query is uh, structured properly and it makes sense we're going to continue with this code here then we're creating a value of the number of rows returned then we're checking if that equals to zero if it does equal to zero it means that the username and password combination don't match so we echo out a warning to the user and we don't log them in otherwise we need to say okay for now the user's logged in successfully so let's um, use this as an example so let's go back to our users table um, we've got Alex and the password which I think is pass one yeah pass one two three but the MD5 hash remember we convert the MD5 hash automatically when we uh, process the login um, and then we have various bits of information which aren't important just now so let's try a user login that's incorrect so I'm going to type Billy and pass one two three. Now bear in mind that pass one two three, one two three, um, 
exists in the database but it doesn't exist next to Billy so let's click login we've got invalid username password combination so our SQL query was structured correctly but it returned no rows now otherwise we want to say if query num rows equals one then we can echo OK because we're never going to echo two rows because the username is not going to exist twice we're not going to have users on our website with the same username so now let's try this with Alex and pass one I think I type pass yet yeah, pass one two three and click login and it says OK so now let's return some of the data that we've been processing so we can make sure that we know well we, we already know it matches but let's echo out um, username and we'll echo out um, I know we'll, we'll just echo out the password hash so you can see how this is working so um, once we've logged in correctly um, username and pass one two three you'll see that um, this is the hash uh, the password hash of what we've entered which is starts with three two two and ends with a twenty four so three two two a twenty four so we know that it's converted the hash properly we know that anyway so um, now that the user's logged in okay and we've displayed this okay message we don't actually want to do this this was just for our purpose what we now want to do is we want to set a session with the user's ID so we've selected the ID from the database, but now we need to get this data. So I'm going to say user underscore ID, and this is going to equal to MySQL result. Remember this function from when we learned uh, specifics on uh, using um, databases. MySQL result, we're taking the result from the query that we run earlier. We're going for row zero, and we're looking in the ID column. Um, so. Uh, let's just echo out user ID so we know this uh, works properly. Let's test now with adding another user so we can see if this ID is returned correctly for each user we log in.